In this tutorial, we're going to learn to create interactive content using slide layers and triggers. So in this particular example, which is a simple example, we have a laptop image. When I click on the laptop image, I show some information that's on a layer. And then when I want to close the layer, I click this little red X. So we're going to learn to build this simple interaction in Articulate Storyline. Let's go ahead and close the preview. First thing we want to do is create a blank slide. So go to Insert, New Slide. We'll choose the blank slide. And now we want to insert the laptop image. So go to Insert Picture. And then in your Assets folder you should find an image that says Laptop. So go ahead and select that. Now we have the laptop image on our slide. What we want to do is just a matter of habit is we'll title it. So this is our background laptop. And because it's on the background and I don't want to accidentally move it, I'm going to go ahead and lock it. Now what we want to do is insert a hotspot. So a hotspot is an interactive element that uh, gives me an invisible area that I can click on or hover over that will activate or trigger something else. So in this case we're going to use a hotspot to trigger a layer. So let's create the hotspot first. We're going to go to Insert. Come over here to the Interactive Objects and we're going to go to the Controls and select Hotspot. I'll just choose the rectangle. Then I'm going to click and drag it over the image. And now I can see this transparent green shape. That lets me know there's a hotspot there. But when we actually preview this, the hotspot's going to be invisible. Now we have the hotspot. What we want to do is have a slide layer so that when I click on the hotspot I can show some information here in the computer screen. So we're going to come down over here to the base layer and you can see there's a new layer button. Let's click that. And that creates a new layer. We're going to call this Feedback. So I'm going to double click and title my layer Feedback. And that's a good habit to get into as well. Now what I can see it, it grayed out here is the base layer. And you can also choose to dim it or not dim it here. Or you can choose to make it visible or not. So we're going to keep it visible and it's dimmed out so that we can see what's underneath the layer. What we're going to do here is add some content. So I'm going to insert a character. We'll choose a photographic character. You can choose any one that you want. I'm just going to choose this guy. And I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm going to scale it. And then he's going to sit here on the computer screen. So it's going to look like he pops up on the computer screen. And then we'll have him give some feedback. So we'll insert a text box. And he'll just say, great job. All right, I can't see the text, so I'm going to format that. So we're going to select that. I'll make it white. And then I can also make it a little larger here, and we'll center that. So now I've got some feedback. And now we need to add our triggers. So we have our slide layer, we have our hotspot. And what I need to do is add a trigger to the hotspot that will show this slide layer. So what do I want to do? When do I want to do it? I want to show this layer when I click on the hotspot. So let's go ahead and create a trigger. So what do I want to do? I want to show layer. I choose my layer. And this is where titling the layers comes in handy. So I'm going to choose the feedback layer. When, when the user clicks on the hotspot. Hit OK. And let's preview this. So what we should have is a hotspot here which I can see because the mouse is changing. So I, when I click the hotspot, I should see the feedback layer. Now what we want to do is add a button on the layer that actually closes that layer and comes back to our starting point. So if we go back to the feedback layer, what we're going to do is add that little X in here. So go to Insert. If you go to Shapes, over here by the Equation Shapes we have this little X. And we can just draw one on the screen. This is probably a little too large. So we'll go ahead and make this red. We'll just choose one of these default layouts. And we can scale this down and put it in the corner. And that looks good for now. Now what we want to do is we want to add a trigger to this X. So in this case, what do I want to do? When do I want to do it? So I want to hide this feedback layer when I click on the X. So let's go ahead and add a trigger. What do I want to do? I want to hide layer. And again, you can see it's here in the common area. So hide layer. 
I choose this layer when the user clicks this multiply X. And so now we have a trigger on here that should hide the layer. So let's go ahead and preview this. So we can click and show a layer, and then we can click and hide a layer. Show a layer, hide a layer. Now this is a simple interaction, but it kind of shows you the essence of working with slide layers and triggers. In the next tutorial what we'll do is we'll actually build out a more comprehensive tabs interaction where we're going to do the combination of changing states and also working with multiple layers.